Greetings one and all. Welcome back to the Easy and Delicious Kitchen where I'm going to be making a long overdue dish here for my channel. Um, some of the very very early watches of my video might remember I did a trip to Vietnam quite a while ago, almost two years ago. And I did do a video of one of my favourite dishes in the whole world which is called Cha Ca which is a dish specific to Hanoi in Vietnam and it's basically fish cooked in oil flavoured with turmeric and dill which sounds simple but it's absolutely delicious and I'm going to make that for you today so first thing I need to do I'm going to be using some lovely um, fillets of swordfish I've got here and the first thing I'm going to do is cut that up and make a bit of a marinade for that and then I'll marinade the fish just not for too long maybe one or two hours alrighty so I'm just gonna make my marinade for my fish so first off I'm just gonna lightly crush a few ingredients so there's two cloves of garlic one of those small shallot type onions and I've got here about a two or three inch knob of fresh turmeric that I've just grated just to help me crush up a bit more and last thing I'm going to add to that to help us crush it up is just about half a teaspoon of sea salt alright like I say it doesn't have to be completely crushed up just lightly pounded and of course if you can't get the fresh turmeric you can substitute in some powdered turmeric but in that case you use a lot less than what I've put in there just something like a teaspoon and a half or something alrighty so I've just got a little bowl here and to that I'm going to add my pounded up turmeric, garlic and onion and salt now I've got about a tablespoon of fish sauce that's going in a, about the same tablespoon of oil uh, now I'm just using vegetable oil got here a couple of tablespoons of finely chopped up fresh dill leaves and make sure if you've brought your dill you've got plenty left over because we're going to need more than what's going in this marinade so we'll just check that out I think I'm going to need just a little bit more oil maybe another half tablespoon Looks good. Now, what fish is going to go in? And I've kept my swordfish there in really, really thick because as we're cooking this, we don't want it to dry out too much. So, in it all goes. just coat that with the marinade and I'll get that all thoroughly coated and I'll cover it up and I'll put it back in the fridge and leave it for yeah an hour or so and I'll get back to you Alrighty, just while my um, fish is marinating there, I'm going to make myself a bit of a sauce to go with my dish. Um, the sauce is, now my pronunciation will be wrong here, but I call it Nok Cham. Nok Cham. Anyway, it's, <laughs> it's a fish 
sauce based sauce but it's also got some I'll show you what's in it so we'll start with some fish sauce and I'm going to put in two tablespoons so one two Equal portion, two tablespoons of lime juice, one, two, right, I want one tablespoon of vinegar, now I'm using apple cider vinegar, white vinegar is fine, one of those, tablespoon full of sugar, quarter cup of water. Got about half a clove of garlic that I've just minced and I like mine spicy. Do this to your own taste but I've got two chopped up bird's eye chilies. And we'll just give that a stir up and dissolve all that sugar. Alrighty guys. So I've just got my uh, fry pan out now. It's been, um, yeah, my fish has been marinating a couple of hours. Um, yeah, probably, no, not a couple of hours, probably about an hour and a half. So, yeah, that oil splatter came. I've got about a tablespoon and a half of oil here. And all we're gonna do is just throw our fish in there now. this marinade oil thing that's left. I'm going to tip that over as well. Now the main thing I noticed with this when you're cooking it um, in Hanoi, those restaurants, those couple of restaurants that only cook this fish, nothing else, and they cook it at your table, the main thing I notice is don't start moving the fish around until it's been cooking on one side for a little while. Uh, if you're looking mistake, start moving it around too early because the fish just breaks up. Now the smell in here at the moment is taking me right back to Hanoi. Yeah. So yeah, for a start we've got something right here with this recipe. Now, the best tool of choice is chopsticks, but um, just spin those over. I'm no expert with chopsticks, but I can just get by. And look at that. If you could smell this at the moment, then you know, you'd just be salivating like I am. And once our fish is nearly cooked there, we've just got some more dill and just the cut up green parts of a couple of um, spring onions or scallions, whatever you want to call them. And we're just going to liberally sprinkle them all over. The top, like so. We just let that fry a bit longer until these veggies, these herbs, start wilting down a bit. Alrighty, so I think we're um, at a stage where we can assemble our dish. So all I've done here is I've just cooked up some uh, rice noodles, put them in a bowl. I like them al dente, so that's how I've cooked them. Just cook them to your liking. 
Now I'm going to get a little bit of my couple of pieces of my fish. Put them in there. And get some of that dill and onion and oil. The oil's got so much flavour in it. Don't be stingy, of course. Now I've got that knock charm I made earlier. Give it another little stir, make sure nothing's sitting on the bottom. Get it all um, balanced. And I'll just drop a bit of that over the top. And I like a little, a fair bit of that stuff, especially with that chili. But like I say, do that to your own taste. Now here. I've just got a few um, chopped up peanuts that I just sort of slightly roasted. Just a few of those. And so I used the green part of the spring onion, the scallion, in the cooking. But what I did with the stalks is I just split them up and they're going to go over the top as well and help make up our dish. And that's it. Nothing else to do but taste it. Alrighty, I've been really looking forward to this, obviously. <laughs> uh, can't wait to taste it. It stacks up against the um, Hoi, uh, Hanoi version. Look, it's probably not going to, but I never thought it would. I'm just trying to get an approximation of it. So here's how it looks up close. And let's try it. <laughs> mm. Oh man. Oh yum. Actually, <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> that actually is pretty close to it. Um, yum. I think, um, look, um, I have to say, normally I'm not a really big fish fan, like I don't like those really fishy tastes, so picking the um, swordfish was a good choice, it's just a yummy texture, it's, um, yeah, hasn't got that real fishy flavour. In um, Hanoi, they use some sort of river fish, and again, normally I hate river fish, but whatever they use there, it tastes similar to that, so yeah, win-win. Alrighty, um, absolutely delicious. I hope you try this one, guys, I really do. It's a unique Vietnam, North Vietnamese dish that is just, it should be on everyone's uh, to-try list. Okay, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks to those who subscribe to the channel, as always. I um, really, really, really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask that you hit that subscribe button? It doesn't cost you anything. Um, hit that notification bell. It'll tell you when there's new videos being posted. Plenty of videos on the back catalogue. All that jazz. Anyway, guys, I will see you all next time.